Young Gerald. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Everything I do end up in the news now. Yeah. Lead a cloud with a few now. Just some Hollywood and they do. I'm, I'm in the mood now. 2 a.m. What you want to do now? Hmm? What you want to do uh, now? Little baby pass. Don't spill on me. That's Margella. Got this Oakland game to tell her. She look familiar. Like Coachella. What's her name? Isabella. It's a, uh, forget it. Yeah. It's like a week ago, but we both know how weekends go. Trying to flush and got some places we can go. Lot y'all got me speaking slow like, yeah. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I don't GA. Yeah. I'm trying to. Yes on, yes on, yes on, yes. <laughs>
Now a give. This is Murray. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Given four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. On third down, Cunningham. And Ingram holds it in. A really nice gain of 25 yards. They had two tight ends in the formation on that one. It looked to me like he had his pick of receivers downfield. I think he was just planning on going over the middle. That's what he did. Picked up first down, too. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. They go with Murray again. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Safety valve here. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. And here comes play number six on this drive. Come on, let's go. On first down, Cunningham. And complete to the tight end walker right side. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. Back to the ground game. Here's Murray. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They lost four there, and it's third down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. Throwing on third and long. Cunningham. Now he's forced out left, and he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Now on fourth down, Jack Del Rio is going to send on the field goal unit. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. And this one is right down the middle. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive only yields three points. Yeah, they were able to move the football, but the defense stiffened once their backs were to the end zone, and they were able to hold them to just three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. Walker, the tight end in motion. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He's letting it fly for Cooks. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, partner, I guess that answers the question about whether they're going to sit on it or not. <laughs> it does. Now we'll see if they try that again. Yeah, I think what we find on plays like that, when you take that shot, if you're unsuccessful, then you go way more conservative to finish the half, you know? I think that's the way they'll go. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. Looking for Cooks, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deion Sanders. And the return will stop right around the 25. 
This is such a good read defensively. They know that this offense is going to try to get the ball to their playmaker in space. So what do they do? They crowd him and send bodies at him. And this one winds up being intercepted. A toss to Murray. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Ready to go now in the second quarter. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. It's the Raiders in possession of the football. But they face a second and long to start things out. A gain of 11. Raiders having a out as well. Let's go. One, nine, one, nine. They go play action here on first down. Got a man. It's Brown. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. A gain of 6 there on first. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Murray. And yeah, this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. It's a loss of two, now third down. Well, he came out ready to play. That's three tackles for a loss, Charles, rolling in the second quarter. And that's problematic for the guys trying to run offense because that means he's got a pretty good idea of what they're doing and is actually beating them to the point of attack and making those plays. The thing about some misdirection or something to try and get him away from the ball. This will be caught just inside the 10. And now a fumble. The ball's out. It's picked up by the Broncos. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Here's Davis now. And he'll take this forward only up to about the They'll set up a throw. They'll set up the screen with Davis. And they'll hit him for a loss as he's back to his two-yard line. Now that screen there on second down certainly didn't develop how they had hoped. Is that one they should have even tried, or is that one the quarterback sticks in his pocket? I think the latter. I like what you said there, because trying is one thing. We can second-guess just about every call. But in this case, when you realize that it's broken down, just throw it at the feet of your intended receiver so that no one can pick it off, right? You don't have the ball tipped up in the air, and you come back and try to pick up the first down on third down. That way you don't. in a yardage. A minute 58 to go in this first half of play. We're back to New Orleans after this. Here's Riley Dixon now. And no room for air here as his first punt comes from deep in his own end zone. And he's able to get it out quickly, and this is not a bad kick here. Here's Austin. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Raiders will have a short field to work with as they take over. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And they'll be looking to atone for last time's mistake of fumbling inside the red zone. Certainly they don't want to do that again. Here we go. 
And so much emphasis placed on red zone offense. I mean, you have periods devoted in practice just for that because everyone knows how vital it is to put points on the board when you've entered that part of the field. And to come away with nothing, that's difficult for a team to handle. And yeah, difficult, and now we'll see if they can make it less difficult on themselves on this drive. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far. And after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going. And really, the offensive line not helping him much. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Five yards on the pickup. And it'll be third down. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but closed there quickly at the end. Back to throw. Cunningham. Oh, it's a touchdown if he holds on. But instead, it's fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. So he splits the uprights there, and I would imagine it's nice as a kicker. Right when it leaves your foot, you know it's good. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. Returning it, John Ross. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. And Denver getting set to take the field. And this is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. That one goes for 24 yards. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, he'll drop to throws. And Davis with it left side. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll be a second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back, and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a <laughs> chance at all. Way easier said than done. And that's incomplete. Clock stops. Ten seconds left. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And great special teams work here. This is knocking on the door of the five. They'll spot it at the six-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And you got to think, if this is anything other than just taking a knee, I'd be very surprised. Yeah, they've got enough to talk about at the half. Why do anything else? Let's get out of there. Come on, let's go! Ohio! Ohio! Ah! A final shot before break. Cunningham. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here.
So both teams have their marching orders and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had an ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Eluding the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football, and he's taken down. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Now on third and long, they'll look to... And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Well, we quit counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. Now Austin. <laughs> Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. So here comes the Raiders offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points on the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like in the half? Because no, tell me. that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker board? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> and the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Looking to throw. Cunningham. He gets it to Brown. Complete. A nice gain of 21 yards. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. This is Murray. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Again, it's Murray. Murray has the first down and more. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Latavius Murray scampering home from 19 yards out. And the Raiders are able to cash in for six. And they will line up now for the two-point try. to throw. Cunningham. And that is caught for the two points. He hits the big target for the two-point try. Defenses hate those guys, especially around the goal line. It's hard to decide who you're going to put on him. Are you going to put a smaller corner on him? Are you going to put a safety who doesn't have maybe the same coverage skills? How about a linebacker? He may have the size, but he's not used to really covering in space. That's why the tight end gives you such a great advantage when you're throwing the football. 
And Denver getting set to take the field. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Back to throw. He finds Ross right side. It's complete. That catch good for five. The Broncos on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and five. They'll look to throw. And incomplete. A disappointing drop there defensively by the rookie. And now fourth down. Well, we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. And no mood to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth go. and five. They'll try and throw for it here. Open man, Smith-Schuster. It's complete. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Broncos first down. We always hear about guys wanting to make plays that quiet a crowd. Shh. Yeah. After that one. Here in the third quarter, they were hoping to get the stop, get the football back. Not the case. What a completion on a fourth down play. Walker, the tight end in motion. Now they'll run it on the toss. And now running right through it. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. A big run there, 29 yards at a first. Well, plenty of credit has to go to the guy carrying the ball. He broke the tackle and gained the yardage, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the defender is bad. They're not going to make 100% of the tackles all the time. Even the best in the game will miss one occasionally. The key is not to let it snowball and miss tackle after tackle. On that play, credit to the offense, but that doesn't make the defense bad. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Red zone opportunity. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man right side, it's Miss Schuster complete. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Brandon Cooks, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. And he knocks it through. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> and he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. Back now here live in New Orleans. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. shy of the 25 at the 24 yard line he'll get three yards on the scramble there it's second down yeah he only gets a few yards on first and 10 but he's better off doing that than throwing an incompletion or even worse an interception Let's go. <laughs> they'll run it now out of the gun and that didn't fool anybody he's going to be dropped in the backfield and they'll lose a yard that time and that's going to lead to a third down it's real easy to say this running game needs to be better, but the reality is they've been given little time to actually find a place to run the football. It's almost like the defense is there on the handoff. Looking to throw. 
Cunningham escaping the pressure right. He's got a man complete. And all the way down to the 37. It's a big play for the Raiders on third down. And even 40 yards. Come on, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! On first and ten, Cunningham. Flushed out right, and he slides to avoid the hit. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And some room to maneuver. And he's brought down. 14 yards is the pickup there at a Raider first. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. They run with Murray. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And here comes play number six on this drive. Slot man moves right. Carries piling up. It's Murray again. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. It's a six year. Leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. Two, but that was enough as they'll convert to make it first and goal. And as the fourth quarter winds down here, we're all even. And no one wants this game to extend. They want to go ahead and win it right now. They'll try to run it in with Murray. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. They come out here in the eye. Looking to throw. Cunningham. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pop. Pops out. Incomplete. Now, this will be the ninth play on this drive. Let's go. Second and goal to go now. They're going to go with a tight end here on the running play. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. This offense so far on third down, they're at 50%, four for eight. They're looking at a third and goal here. Here we go. Now they'll run, Murray. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. 
Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. Now that was a big stop on third down, and this is where head coaches make their money. The question right here, do you kick the field goal for the three points, or do you go ahead and try and grab yourself a touchdown lead? And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop. They're going to get out of here with a victory. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. They only need a field goal. Obviously, the clock a huge factor. They'll be watching that. What do they need to do here, Charles? Your sequence of plays has to get you out of bounds. Completions, get out of bounds, gain some yardage. Then when the clock hits seven seconds or left, now you get a decision. Are you in field goal range, or is it Hail Mary time? Because from seven seconds down, you don't want to take a shot that you're going to have another play. We'll see how they handle it. They got 29 yards that time. Here we go. Ohio. Ohio. One final shot. They'll look to throw. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Hassan Reddick in from his linebacker's spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game.